Welcome everyone to this Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Today, join me as we take a look at the Jakar Command Ship. Today's design is the Jakar Command Ship. It is an unlock level 25, size class 8.25, capital vessel coming to us from creator Coolhand. Now this is a themed ship and this is styled after the Babylon 5 ship of the same name. Just a quick note, I am running full Alpha 8 Experimental at the moment and have created a new test world. So if things look a little different on the ship here in the video than it does when you try it out in your game, that might be why. Starting at the front of the ship, on the underside we have two turrets and between those we have a ramp for our hover vessels and of course your small vessels to come up inside. On each side we have our new sentry gun designs which interestingly enough when you get far enough away don't look like they really can shoot fully over the barrier here. Walking along the vehicle landing path you can see we have a sequence of cargo bots, ammo bots, ammo bots, cargo bots and there are three sections of these. Each section is set up for its own landing pad docking area where you will have, of course, the two cargo boxes, the two ammo boxes, a small landing area, as well as a passenger seat, armor locker, and small cargo box. In the very middle section, you also have the repair bay module for fixing your vessels when they take damage. On the sides towards the front of the ship, you can actually see some of the stationary weapons hooked up in here along with feed pipes, I guess for feeding the ammunition or the power to them. On this side we have the repair station, however on the other side we have our O2 station. Going up the steps on either side gives you a somewhat partial view outside through some of the glass windows, and more importantly I really like the aesthetic of the lighting that surrounds the glass itself. On the middle area you can see we have some of our generators, an RCS on one side as well as gravity generator and on the other side we have the exact same thing in a mirrored configuration. Towards the back of the ship you will find on one side an advanced constructor, a clone chamber and two of your medical scanners while on the other side you will find a medic station, two more medical scanners and a set of four fridges along with one food processor. In the middle you will find your exit point from the ship where you can take your hover vessels and small vessels out along with three sentry guns for protection and two elevator points where you can go up to the next area. Following this walkway you will pass underneath your main core as well as find your warp core right here. Going up we come into this area where we have access to the crew lounge. You see we have some seats and nice displays here, a little lounge type area with TV a fridge, and a nice set of walkways that take you up and above up to a captain seat as well as to co-pilot seats. Heading behind the elevator, you will come up these stairs on either side and come into a small living quarters room which has of course a desk, bed, and closet but more importantly seems to be missing something as there is an open area here where you are actually open air to one of the thrusters which means that it is not completely enclosed here, so this is not going to let you have oxygen in that area. This may simply be an oversight or it may be something that had to be sacrificed because of the design with the thruster in the back. And on the other side you will find a small table plus two bunk beds instead of the single bed. When coming back down this elevator be careful not to go too far forward on this side because as you can see there is no glass here so you can walk out and readily fall. This may not be such a bad thing in space but on a planet you might break a leg doing so. And the last little element is on this one side here with the oxygen station. Coming up here you also have access to an upper balcony area where you can walk up and look down over everything but more importantly you have a second pilot seat here so you can pilot from inside especially if you're going up in heavy combat. Once again, this is the Jakar Command Ship, and it is an unlock level 25, size class 8.25 capital vessel. It comes equipped with 9 fuel tanks giving you a total of 54,000 fuel, and as you can see here with it docked and the thrusters turned off, I have over 48 hours of power. Coming with 8 oxygen tanks, it has 16,000 O2, 
and only requires 4,130 to fill it up. This is spread across the two ventilators and the one oxygen station, as well as you have the one medic station and one clone chamber. Being themed as a command ship slash battleship, obviously it's going to come well equipped for attacking. The Jakar command ship comes with six minigun turrets, six cannon turrets, four rocket launchers, six flak turrets, seven sentry guns, six pulse lasers, and one artillery turret. In total, there are 21 cargo boxes and 18 ammo boxes. You have a total of five fridges, the one food processor, and one advanced constructor. Obviously, a ship of this size is going to take a few resources to build it, and you're looking at almost 34,000 sathium and over 21,000 iron. You also need 4,497 arrestrum and zascosium to build this as well. Compared to those, the rest of the resources needed should not be that hard to accumulate. While I myself have never really been a fan of Babylon 5 or watched that much of the series, I can definitely appreciate the thought that went into this design. It's definitely a very striking looking design from the outside and the inside is very clean and straightforward. I also like the very streamlined aspect of the design where there is a clear entrance for your hover vessels and small vessels as well as a clear path for them to follow for repairs, for docking, and then of course deploying out into battle or just onto a planet for gathering supplies. Again, this is the Jakar command ship and it is named after the same ship design from the Babylon 5 TV series. If you're interested in checking out this design in your own game, I will of course have a link in the description below. And if you try it out and like it, be sure to leave the creator cool hand a thumbs up. Also make sure to leave any nice comments or creative suggestions on the workshop page as well for him to read. Well, that is it for today's workshop showcase. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.